Hello， 大家好，我是大华股份海外营销中心全彩产品经理，欢迎来到杭州，中国，很高兴带你开启环球全彩之旅。Hi, my name is Tao Chang from Dahua Technology Deutschland. Willkommen in Nordrhein-Westfalen. Landeshauptstadt Düsseldorf. Tauchen Sie ein in die Vollfarbenwelt von Dahua. Hi, my name is Cameron with Dahua Technology USA. Welcome to the San Clemente Pier in Southern California. Allow me to take you on a Dow full color tour. Hello, iedereen. Ik ben Bart van Weimer. Pre-sales engineer bij Dawa Technology Benelux. Welkom hier in België in Antwerpen aan de Schelde. Laat ik jullie meenemen op de Dawa Full Color Tour. Ciao, sono Lorenzo del team marketing di Dawa Technology Italy. Il nostro viaggio in full color ci ha portati a Milano, in Piazza del Duomo. Hi, my name is Gudani. Welcome to Dawa South Africa, and let me take you on a Dawa full color journey. สวัสดีครับผมพลิตนะครับผู้จัดการฝ่ายการตลาดบริษัทต้าโหดเทคโนโลยีประเทศไทยครับยินดีต้อนรับสู่สภานภูมิพลเราจะนำทุกท่านไปท่องโลกกับกล้องต้าหัวฟูเคอร์เลอร์ครับมาแล้วอดีมฮาคันคูร์ดดาวฮัวตุรกีเอพรีเซสเดปาร์ตเมนต์ลีเดอร์ออลล์รักชั่วชิมักเตียมตุรกีเอและอิสตันบุลฮอชเคลดินิสฮัดีบีร์ลิกเตบีร์ดาวฮัวฟูลคอลล์เกจิซี่อัพลุ่มเ
The Dawa Full Color 2.0 cameras can capture vivid color images even when the supplementary white light is off. It is based on the imaging process of the human eye. Its dual light fusion technology presents a cutting edge dual sensor structure. The darker color detail is overlaid on the IR image with high brightness. Through six degree of freedom adjustment, the Dahua AA active alignment technology keeps the optical axis center of the lens and the optical axis center of the CMOS overlapped, allowing it to output the clearest images and realize effective utilization of high pixels. The Dahua Full Color 2.0 cameras offer brighter images. It utilizes larger area of the light sensing component. It uses 1 over 1.2 inch large image sensor instead of the common sensor of 8 megapixel cameras, enlarging a single pixel's area by 110%. Image brightness increased by 42%. Equipped with max aperture of f1, the Dahua Full Color 2.0 Very Focal Camera collects 2.5 times amount of light compared with f1.6 aperture. Focal length 2.7 mm to 12 mm, approximately 5 times optical zoom. The Dahua Full Color 2.0 cameras allow quick search of targets based on color details. Full Color Camera captures 24-7 vivid color information, even in low light conditions. It effectively extracts the color features of the scene, be it human, vehicle, or details. Backtracking through NVR using target's color details is supported. Um, dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to join the Zaha Technology 2021 second half Nupa Launch Conference. Innovation is one of the key factors driving industry development. From the analog to IP system, from standard definition to high definition or even to ultra high definition. With the introduction of artificial intelligence, we have experienced great changes in the industry in the last few years. And low illumination technology is one of the key areas for the industry. And today, we are going to introduce the new technology advancement, what we call Four Color 2.0, and also the Tioc 2.0. Jackie is my name from Dahua Technology Overseas Business Centers. I will take the first part, and the later stage, my colleague Danny is going to take the second part. Before we start the presentation, at the bottom right side, there will be a QR code that you can scan the QR code to answer the, a few simple questions. You will have a chance to win the price of Amazon gift cards. Before we jump into the product introductions, we would like to see two figures. First, around 50% of the police cases happen in the night. However, the existing camera technology has limited performance under low light conditions. Thus, to reproduce the case, with a clear and high quality image of video is very difficult. Second, from 2018 onwards, we seen a very fast growing of low illumination camera shipments in the markets. There's a very clear indication that the low illumination technology has got a great attention from both manufacturers and also end users. Zaha Technology, as the innovation leader, we have been investing in the technologies heavily in the past few years. Um, so in 2018, we have introduced the first low illumination technology, what we call the Starlight and the Starlight Plus. And also in the year of 2020, we have introduced the first, of, first version of Full Color, which mainly covers um, the, I mean, the F1.0 Super Large Aperture, it supports also the high performance sensors and it is with the supplementary white light as well. These are the main features with the full color that 
solve the pain points in the low light conditions. However, with the introduction of the low light uh, technologies, especially with the sub uh, supplementary white light, it on one side solved the low light conditions, but on the other side, it introduced the light pollution as well. In certain markets, especially in the developed markets like in European countries or in America, light pollution is one of the main concerns of the end users. At the same time, due to the white light, it can easily attract fly insects, and which can interfere the image quality very easily. So, I mean, that's one of the pain points from the user perspective. The second, due to technology limitations, I mean, there's only a few resolutions available on this existing four color range. For example, no 4 key um, color image available on the existing range. And if in certain applications you want to see the clear image of the scene, if you want to zoom in, see the details, will be not possible in with the existing range. Also, at the same time, I mean, the existing range offers only fixed focal lengths. Means in certain applications, if you want to see the interest object, you want to zoom in the object, um, will not be possible as well in the existing range. So, although in 2020 we introduced the full color first version to solve the pain points, low light conditions, but there are still some areas which is not covered with the existing range and we need to improve. With the, all this in mind, we will today introduce the new range of the new series, what we call Full Color 2.0, that to solve the main point, pain points from the customer perspective in the low light conditions. First, uh, reduce white light pollutions. That's one of the concerns from the end users. And second, we will introduce first time the Ultra HD, means the ultra high definition color image with the new range, which basically is going to be available for the 4K color image as well. And the third will introduce the very focal in the range as well um, for, to wider the application scenarios for the range. The new range mainly covers the four areas of the detail. First is the dual lens camera, the second will be 4K color image. The third will be very focal and also based in artificial intelligence. In the late a few minutes, I will introduce uh, one by one in details. Dual lens cameras. In the existing category in, available in the market, for example, in the thermal cameras, we already have a technology of dual lens. Basically, it's very easy to understand for the thermal technology, you use two lights. One is for the thermal image, to capture the thermal image with the less detail, but able to monitor the scene in a very long distance. And the second camera is capturing a, a visible image, which can monitor in a short distance, but with rich details. In the combination with thermal and also visible uh, camera image, then you will able to produce the image with the uh, capability of long distance monitoring at the same time with rich details. For the full color dual lens camera, we use the very similar principles. Basically, we use the supplementary IR light um, as the illumination technology for the cameras. So if you see from the diagram, the first IR camera is to capture the image with black white image. Due to the low illumination conditions, the black white image will have rich um, uh, brightness information, but with the very low noise. And the second camera is to capture visible image. Um, also, I mean, due to the low light conditions, the image will be with low quality for brightness information, but with the rich information about colors. Then in the third stage, we use the embedded software to fuse these two images together. One side with the black white image with rich brightness information, the second side with the normal color image with the rich of color information. 
if we combine this information together in the final stage, we are able to reproduce the clear and the color image that will be vividly uh, represent the scene we are monitoring. In this case, we are able to produce the very clear and detailed evidence when something happens. Um, that's a very uh, simple comparison between the two images. I mean, from the one side is the dual, um, dual lens camera with um, four color in the four color range. The right side is uh, the existing uh, normal camera with supplementary white light. You can see the clear difference. I mean, first, we avoid the light pollutions that will be annoying for certain users, especially in the residential areas. The second, I mean, um, the fly insects, which can be attracted by the white light, can be avoided as well. Um, yeah, also from the image, image wise, I mean, uh, with the dual cameras, I mean, the image is also, also with the very good quality and a vivid representation of the color image from the real scene. Then we look at a little bit detailed specs of the cameras, dual lens cameras. For first, I mean, uh, two times four megapixel aggressive CMOS is used in the camera. So one, as we said, one is for the IR light um, uh, image. The second is for the visible light, uh, visible image. Um, due to the super um, image sensors, we are able to have the minimum illumination down to 0 0.0005 lux at f1.0. And the focal lens, both 2.8 and 3.6 millimeter is available in the range, and maximum illumination distance can reach 50 meters at 6 mm lens. So these are the main features of the dual lens cameras. Also, it supports 25 or 30 FPS uh, real-time monitoring that we can uh, monitor, monitoring the things that you want in real time. And a 140 dB WDI is available for the range as well to improve the image quality. <clears throat> and second, we were talking about uh, the AI functions. As in the later stage, we will notice in the whole full color 2.0 series, um, the AI function is going to be universal, means all the AI function will be activate or enabled in all the series um, across all the products. Um, mainly, I mean, for people counting, we support eight rules people counting that you can activate in the device. Four rules for queue management and a face detection with six kinds of attributes. Parameter protection to recognize human and vehicles, which are the two main objects in the security industry. SMD 3.0 to reduce false alarm, increase detection distance. AI schedule I will talk about later as well, basically is to realize the different AI functions in the same device at different time. Um, in this function, I will talk in the later stage a little bit detail. In, ter in terms of image uh, quality, comparing to conventional 4 uh, MP, it has 36% increase of brightness and also 14 times increase of SN ratios. These are the image quality improvements um, comparing with the existing range. As we previously stated, um, the resolution is also one of the key factors for the new products or new devices. And uh, for the full color range, in this time, we will first introduce the 4K full color in the 2.0 uh, series. Um, in the new 4K camera, we are introduced the new 1 over 1.2 inch image sensor with the super large image sensor. If you look at a simple comparison with the traditional 1.8 inch and new introduced 1 over 1.2 inch image sensors, the pixel size is increased from 2 mm to 2.9 mm, 
which means I mean the pick size can will be increased 110 percent comparing to the existing ones. We all understand I mean the pixel size is the areas that we're receiving the light energy with the pixel size increasement we are able to receive the light energy by two times. In this context we can increase the image performance or we can increase the video performance of the real scenarios that we are able to reproduce clear and uh, color 4K image. If we look at a simple comparison between the two pictures of the 4K and also the 4K IR cameras, I mean one side, yeah, color image, that's a full color range and the second side, due to the material effects, I mean for the license plates, it's a metal plate it is very easy to reflect light. So in the normal cases, if you're using the supplementary IR light, it's very easy to get the reflection light from the license plate. So the image can be very easily blurred by the reflection of the license plate. So with the new 4K with super image sensor, we're able to produce a clear and a vivid image um, of the real scenes. Here we look at a little bit detail of the specs of the 4K cameras. First, um, 1 over 1.2 inch image sensor, super large image sensor is used in the new series. And due to the super sensors, the minimal illumination can reach to down to 0.005 lux at f1.0. Focal lens both 2.8 3.6 and a 6 mm available in the range and maximum illumination distance can reach 60 meters at 6 mm lens. Um, it supports 25 and 30 fps as well. It means I mean real-time monitoring of the scenes and 140 dB WDI is available to improve image quality as well. As I said, I mean for the AI functions the universal AI function is going to support it across the whole range. So the AI feature set will be, will be the same with the previous two lens. Basically, A rules people counting, four rules queue management, face detection with six attributes, parameter protection, SMD3+, and AI schedule. These are all the feature sets that are going to be available across the whole range. And comparing with the um, normal 4K cameras, I mean, there is going to be a 42% brightness increase and 400% SN ratio increase. This is, I mean, the main spec of the 4K camera. Next, we are going to in introduce the very focal camera in the new range as well. As certain applications, as we mentioned, I mean, if you want to see the detail of the objects you are interested in. You will need to zoom in to see the details. Also in certain applications you may change the, um, the focal lens and the variable focal lens can be, can be in a, uh, to ease the in, uh, installation and maintenance for the users as well. Um, so this I mean uh, is the first time in the four color range we introduced the very focal into the existing ones. And if you look at the main specs of um, the very focal range, um, for MP resolution with um, 1 over 1.8 inch CMOS progressive sensors, and minimum il illumination can reach 0 0.0005 lux at f1.0 as well. And the very focal, focal range can be 2.7 to 12 millimeter focal lens. These are the available range with a very focal. 25-30 FPS real-time monitoring and a 140 dBWS available for the very focal range as well. And AI functions, I will not talking about details anymore because I mean these are the universal AI functions across the range, uh, available across the range. That's also a very short uh, comparison between the 
uh, very focal from IR camera to the uh, full color very focal cameras. I mean, both from the telephoto side, also from the wide angle side, you can see the quite difference, I mean, between the two images. First, I mean, uh, color image. The second, I mean, it's in a pretty detailed. Uh, if you want to look at a certain object you are interested in. Um, with the new uh, 4Color 2.0, we are going to using the new colorful design as well. I mean, this is the first time we use the UV packaging that um, the package is going to protect the product during the transportation. And the second time with the new design, it's very easy to stand up from the product shelf that we can catch the user attentions or we can very easily pick up from the product shelf. As we know from the name, color is the key words of the new series of 4Color 2.0. So color search is one of the functions that we can enable from the new series. Basically, we can do the search of combination between color and the objects. For example, we are searching for the red top, or we can search for the blue hat, or we can search the green backpack as well. With the combination between the objects and also the color information, you can very easily to locate the targets you would like to identify, thus to increase the search efficiency greatly. So this is one of the um, features that we have activated in the products to increase the efficiency from uh, operation efficiency from the end users. Another very interesting function or very useful function of the new series is what we call the AR schedule. Basically, in a typical application for the conventional, uh, conventional applications, for example, in the retail shop, if you want to monitor the people counting, means I mean how many people come into the, come into the retail shop every hour, you will need to activate the people countings. But during the night, if you want to protect the shop, you will need to um, activate or enable the uh, parameter protection during the night. With the traditional cameras, you will need to install two cameras to have the two functions, daytime people counting and the night parameter protections. But with the innovative AI schedule, you are able to integrate the functions, different functions in one camera. Basically, you can um, simply with software to set up in the devices. In the daytime, for example, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., you activate the people counting functions. From 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. next day, you enable the parameter protections. So with uh, these new techniques to integrate multiple functions into one camera, you were able to save the cost not only from the device itself, but also, in the, but also the installation and maintenance cost. Basically, you can, uh, you can save the total cost of ownership. Then as a fourth part, let's talk about a little bit of the typical application that we can apply the full color 2.0. The first one is villa or the residential areas. Um, as we stated in before, the main pain points of the existing focal range is the supplementary light, is the light pollutions. And uh, with the new series, you are able to avoid the light pollution, the, which is, can be used for the villa or the typical residential areas that um, the light pollution could be one of the main concerns of the end users. The second typical application is for the parking lots. I mean, Usually for the parking lots, you will have very low light conditions and at the same time, you would like to see the license plate um, because that's one of the key identifier of the vehicles. Um, so with the new range of four color uh, cameras, you were able to um, have improved the light conditions at, at the entrance and at the same time to catch the detail of the vehicles, for example, uh, the license plates. And also in the parking areas, you will 
able to catch the real clear image, color image in the low light conditions. Yeah, this also is the one of the typical application as well. Yeah, this is the main introduction of the full color 2.0. And uh, next, I will hand over to my colleague Danny for the introduction of the TIOC 2.0. Hello everyone, my name is Danny from Dahua Overseas Business Center and as my colleague said, I'll be introducing the second generation 3-in-1 camera, also known as the TIOC 2.0, which combines smart dual illuminators, active deterrence and artificial intelligence in one camera. This presentation will be uh, broken up into four main sections. The first section, I'll introduce the pain points. In the second, I'll give a brief overview of the TIOC 2.0. The third, I'll dive deeper into the details of the key features. And for the fourth, I'll give a quick summary in comparison with application scenarios and examples. So as you can see, we have four main pain points that we encountered. Uh, first being single illumination mode. In the current market, products either have an infrared illuminator, which doesn't really capture uh, full color images at night, and we have white light illuminators. While white light does capture full color image, it may also produce some unwanted light pollution. Our second issue we encountered was the audio clarity, quality, and range. The older generation TIOC is equipped with a single mic, which may capture environmental interference, uh, which could affect the user's experience and has a limited range. One of our third pain points, we identified the limitations of the image quality in low illumination settings uh, due to small aperture with infrared supplementary light. And our fourth pain point is uh, the user's experience is affected by the complicated integration with their current alarm systems. So let me give you a brief overview of the TIOC 2.0. Based on the previous TIOC, we've made multiple technological breakthroughs in illuminator, audio, and images, as well as software upgrades which provide easy alarm integration and easy operation, which we've introduced into the TIOC 2.0. So let's get into the deeper details of the key features. First, I'll give you a brief introduction of the five key features. Our smart dual illuminators. With both infrared illuminator and white light illuminator, it offers a supplementary light mode powered by AI, which can flexibly switch between full color and infrared mode. Voice catcher technology improves the audio quality, clarity, and range. Better image. The TIOC 2.0 is the first of its kind to utilize Dahua's optical path compensation or OPC technology, which provides brighter and clearer infrared image with a large aperture and a smoother 4K real-time image as well. As for the ecosystem, it is easily integrated into traditional alarm systems and also supports DMSS app for added convenience. And finally, we have the AI features, which include the SMD 3.0 and perimeter protection. All right, let's talk about the smart dual illuminators. The smart dual illuminators comes in three modes. The first mode is a smart illumination mode. It's the default mode, which is powered by AI, which can flexibly switch between the infrared mode and the white light mode. The second mode is the infrared mode. The infrared illuminator remains active. And while the flashing red and blue active deterrent lights can be triggered, the supplementary white light will not be activated in this mode, thus reducing light pollution. The third mode is the white light mode which is ideal for scenes which require full color footage. Here's how the smart illumination mode works. In figure one, you can see the infrared illuminator is active in low illumination settings. If a target enters the monitoring area, 
the AI will switch to the white light illuminator, thus being able to record full color images. Should a target continue into the rural area, the active deterrent sirens and red and blue flashing lights will be triggered. When a target is no longer within the monitoring area, the white light will turn off and the infrared illuminator will turn back on. Here you can see all three different modes in action. As you can see, the smart illumination mode, which is powered by the AI, can flexibly switch between full color and infrared, thus recording color event video and reducing light pollution. The infrared mode provides the same active deterrence without the use of unnecessary white light. And the white light mode records full color video and captures event details. The voice catcher technology. Often we may encounter uh, environmental sounds or interferences which may obstruct the human voice in audio recordings. But thanks to the voice catcher technology, uh, it has improved, it has greatly improved audio quality, clarity, and range. There are four parts that combine to achieve the voice catcher technology. Our first are the high sensitivity dual mic arrays, which offer longer pickup distance. Our second part is the newly designed audio acquisition circuit, which can intercept external interference. Our third is the Dahua self-developed noise reduction algorithm, which we have implemented into number four, a high performance SOC, which can further noise reduction optimization. Here you can see a comparison of mics. In a laboratory setting, we compared the older generation TIOC single mic with the TIOC 2.0 dual mic array to pick up the same sound source. We found that the TIOC 2.0 dual mic array can greatly reduce noise and extract useful audio signals, while the single mic sound still retains some higher interference. If you look here, you can see the wind noise, but thanks to the voice catcher technology, the wind noise has been filtered out, thus enhancing the audible voice. At 65 decibels, which is the average human speaking voice, the volume of the average human speaking voice, we've noticed that the TIOC 2.0 has a pickup distance that was increased by 7 meters. As I said before, the TIOC 2.0 is the first to be implemented with the optical path compensation technology, or the OPC. The optical path compensation technology uh, Basically, what it can do is it can uh, correct the refraction angles of light waves. Thus, infrared light and visible light can be on the same focal plane. If you look over here, we have an infrared image of a large aperture, F1 aperture, without the OPC technology. You can see that the image is a bit fuzzy and a little bit dark on the edges. But thanks to the OPC technology, the infrared image with the large F1 aperture on this side has brighter, clearer details. So thanks to the OPC technology, we can compare an infrared image with F1.6 aperture to our infrared image with an F1 aperture. If you've noticed, the image on the left has uh, just a better image overall. It's sharper, brighter, and the edges are more clearer. With the utilization of the F1 aperture, in comparison to the old TIOC 1.4 aperture, we were able to capture almost two times more light for a clearer, brighter image. Even when AI is enabled, you can still capture a smooth real-time 4K image at 25 frames per second output in comparison to the 20 frames per second for the last generation TIOC. If you look at these images over here, you can see the comparison of the real-time, which is a lot smoother compared to the non-real-time.
So the ecosystem. So the TIOC 2.0 has now been equipped with an alarm in port, which provides easy integration with traditional alarm systems, which allows for different options for one tap disarming. One of the options is you can actually use the alarm system keypad by uh, connecting the camera's alarm import to the traditional alarm system. Another option is that it supports the DMSS app, which you can use for uh, one tap disarming as well. Other great features about the DMSS app, aside from the one tap disarming, is also the alarm push notifications. And you can also utilize the two-way talk functions via the mobile app as well. Now, if you look over here, you can see that when the targets enter the monitoring area, the active deterrents such as the lights and the sirens will be triggered. With the web and VR, you can enable disarming as well. So that's your third option. You can enable disarming with the web and VR. And if you look at this image over here, you'll notice that even when a target is in the monitoring area, the active deterrents are not triggered. So a brief overview of the AI features. It offers the SMD 3.0, which reduces false alarms, provides longer detection distance, and higher detection accuracy. The same great products as the, as the previous generation, as well as perimeter protection, which has accurate detections with the false alarm rate under 1%. Target classification on human and vehicles, quick target search efficiency up to 98%, and the alarm push notification sending time under one second. Here's just a quick comparison of the TIOC 2.0 with the last generation TIOC. I'll go over that real quickly with you. With all the same great details, but even better, we have the smart dual illuminators, which include both the infrared and white light illuminators in one camera. And with the dual mic array, in comparison to the single mic, clearer sound, longer pickup range. As for the images, you can have a smoother 4K real-time image at 25 and 30 frames per second, even when AI is enabled, in comparison to last generation's 20 frames per second. Along with the F1 aperture, the super large aperture, it allows for brighter and clearer images with the 4K as well. And infrared images as well thanks to the OPC technology. Finally, you can integrate your system, uh, you can integrate the camera with a traditional alarm system which does allow uh, for one tap disarming thanks to the support of the alarm in port. So I'd just like to pre uh, briefly give you some application scenarios and the advantages of the TIOC 2.0. Public areas such as uh, emergency access roads or fire lanes that need to be clear of obstruction. Uh, some uh, advantages are full color monitoring, uh, which provides better event extraction, as well as the white light can actually provide emergency light at night if needed. And the active deterrence. Uh, the active deterrence, you can use the alarms and the red and blue flashing lights to warn vehicles and pedestrians to vacate the restricted areas. Private places. I feel this is self-explanatory, such as homes and villas. I mean, no one wants an intruder in their home. Uh, so I'll still give some advantages, though. You have the uh, colorful monitoring, which captures vivid details, uh, and, uh, even at night or in the yard. Uh, active deterrence, which deters intruders and lets the uh, homeowner or other people around aware of uh, possible situations. And as well as the two-way talk function that I mentioned via the DMSS mobile app, which has better quality now thanks to the voice catcher technology. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for listening to this presentation. Don't forget to take part in the online quiz competition where you can seize a chance to win an Amazon gift card. You can scan the QR code on the screen, click the link in the description below, or add the PIN code.